Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Thursday, November the 17th, 2022, Thursday, November the 17th. Um, it's okay. The very end of the show. Wow. And Elizabeth dealing with Nicholas and Esme and oh my goodness, they come in the room. I didn't see yesterday that Esme was on the floor. I just saw the empty bed, right? So I'm thinking she got the bodyguard to help her escape, but no, that's probably coming, right? They go in, they see her on the floor. Elizabeth initially runs over to her, just and Elizabeth, I mean, Nicholas and Elizabeth run over to her. And it's so funny. Elizabeth has to put her little shirt more down over her pants because we didn't want the little prosthetic bump to show, <laughs> right? <laughs> so Elizabeth does that quick wardrobe fix for the camera. And she said, oh my goodness, Nicholas, uh, you know, her 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 um, pulse is a little racy and she's listening to her. She goes, we need to get her to the hospital right away. And Nicholas is like, I can't, I can't do it. Uh, you know, you know, I can't take her there. And Elizabeth's like, well, I'm not a doctor. And so he's like, well, I can't take her there. So she goes, okay, look, look. The baby could be in distress. I'm going to have to do an emergency C-section. I need you to go to the kitchen. <laughs> Soon as she said that, I said, okay, Elizabeth knows she's faking. I need you to go to the kitchen and get me some knives. We're going to have to do this without anesthesia. If I have any chance of saving this baby, it's because you do want your baby saved, right? That's the most important thing. He goes, yes, yes. But a C-section without anesthesia, that's inhumane. Nicholas, do as I say. Okay, okay. So Elizabeth goes back over to Esme lying on the floor and she, you know, gets close to her and look and Esme's really just, oh my God, like she's dead. Oh. Elizabeth goes to reach for her stomach to, and Esme sits up, get your hands off me and my baby. <laughs> and Elizabeth just looks at her and then looks at Nicholas. And Nicholas is like, oh. So needless to say, she was faking it. Of course she would. But see, her problem is you can only cry wolf so much, right? Mm, yikes. So Nicholas and Elizabeth go talking downstairs. And but Esme's like, you, you're supposed to be <clears throat> helping me. You're supposed to be a nurse. And she goes, like, you were going to let her cut on me without anesthesia? And so Elizabeth said, you filmed... A, you made a sex tape of my son and his girlfriend. I haven't forgotten that. And Esme just looks at her like, and that's old news. I did that months ago. What? <laughs> you know, that doesn't apply now. So needless to say, um, Elizabeth and, and um, Nicholas go downstairs and they're talking. She goes, you know what? You don't have a plan, Nicholas. What's your plan? And so Nicholas is like, I'm going to take her to Cassadine Island. She's going to be well cared for, round the clock staff. And she could have the baby there. And then uh, once the baby's born, I'm going to go get my child and she can live out the rest of her days on Cassadine Island. As if Cassadine Island would be able to hold her. That has to be one of the stupidest plans on the planet that Esme would live happily ever after on Cassadine Island. So Elizabeth tells him no, because he said, well, now you know what? She knows you're in on it. She's going to make you, you're an accessory, Elizabeth, you know, so you can't tell. She's like, are you trying to threaten me? He goes, no, I'm just saying Esme is going to say you knew. And she goes, well, okay, here's the deal. You're not taking her to Cassadine Island. You're going to keep her here. I'm going to be her nurse. I'm going to make sure the baby's okay. And so I thought, were well, you going to get her prenatals too? Okay, Elizabeth, you know, better off getting Bobby. Bobby's at least more of a head nurse. But yeah, Elizabeth needs to be in on that. 
Look, she was in on killing Peter August with Finn. She could be on holding Esme hostage. That's That ain't nothing for Elizabeth. So anyway, Esme got found out. But then later, as she's in the room by herself, the baby is kicking and moving more. It's funny. They're humanizing Esme to us for some reason. They're making her more human because her whole, she's getting this motherly feeling towards her baby. She's even calling it Ace because that baby's her Ace in the hole. Okay, that's a very endearing name for her child. Um, then we had uh, Britt. Britt was at the Metro Court at the bar. And whatever Austin was saying that happens to the throat, it begins gets very hard to swallow. She was trying to sip on a martini and started choking her. She's coughing and Brad comes up saying, hey, hey, let me go get you some cough drops for that cough. And Britt ends up, he, and Selena comes over and oh, she's talking nice to Britt. And Brad is like, wait, once Selena left, what's going on between you and my aunt? She hated you. And now you guys are ready to send each other Christmas cards. Something is up. And Britt finally said, because she's blackmailing me. She was blackmailing me. And in my mind, I'm thinking, what was she blackmailing? I forgot what she was blackmailing Britt uh, uh, for. What was it? Was it that she knows she has Huntington's? I don't know. I forgot what she was blackmailing Britt on. Because she didn't tell Cody what she was blackmailing her with. Um, but uh, Not Cody. She didn't tell Brad. But Brad was telling her, he goes, you know, Britt, something else is going on. I know it. And and I, you need to tell me. I'm your friend. You can let me in. And Britt ended up changing the subject. Let's go dancing at the Savoy. Let's go to the Savoy. Let's go to the Savoy. So they go running out of the Metro Court. Um, today was the anniversary of little Liam's death. And Sonny Gladys and Sasha were at the Metro Court having dinner and Sonny came over and he was talking to Sasha, very, you know, very Sonny-ish, kindly, patriarchly. And he said a few words. He says, in Brando's absence, I'm going to say, do uh, you mind if I say a few words for Liam? And he does. And he's asking him, how's, how's the guardianship working out? And they looked at each other and Gladys goes, well, I'm taking it seriously. And Sasha's not saying too much. So Sonny says to Sasha, would you like to go see the, the new kitchen? Nina has renovated the kitchen. You want to see it? So Sasha goes, sure. So they get up and walk away. And I'm thinking, all the years Carly has owned the Metro Court, Sonny has never given anybody a tour of anything at the Metro Court. But he's showing off Nina's newly renovated kitchen. Okay, mob boss. You need to get back in your office. Get out on the docks. Go do something. Okay, because this 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 Mr. Mr. Stewart isn't working for me. So anyway, they come out of the kitchen and he's talking. He said, I just want to talk to you honestly, away from Gladys, you know. And Gladys, in the meantime, sees Selena Wu after she walks away from Brad and, and Britt sitting down. So she takes her drink and hey, Miss Wu. Gladys Corbin, we met at blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and, and we're, we're fellow investors at deception. And she goes, oh, okay. And so she sits down and she says, yeah. And so Miss Wu said, sorry, you know, my condolences about your son. Thank you. Thank you for saying that, she says. And then Miss Wu says, so what do you mean? No, she goes, I am my daughter-in-law's guardian. And the courts told me that whatever is Sasha is mine as well. And Miss Wu kind of leans back and looks at Gladys and says, sucker, I'm getting ready to take all your money because it's your money what you're saying, you know? Wow. Thanks for telling me that, right? And she didn't say that. That's that's what she was thinking of. So Gladys is like, yeah, yeah. So Miss Wu says, you know, you're right. We do have that in common. We I I, I own a large amount of stock in, in deception. So we are. 
with investors in common. Because your daughter-in-law owns a lot of investment uh, deception shares as well. So she goes, hey, I am having a private party at the Savoy and tomorrow night, I think it was, or tonight, one of the two. And I want to invite you. And so Gladys says, oh, I'm not in for the dinner and dancing. I'm, I'm not in for that. So no. She goes, no, no. It's the card game. A little Tex Texas Hold'em. And Gladys is like, poker? And so Miss Wu is like, yeah, you know, friendly game. Money does change hands, you know? So it could be quite a bit of money. And, Glad and she gives Gladys the card that's got the password and everything on the back. And Gladys slash takes the card. Oh, okay. And I'm thinking, oh my God, she's going to gamble away Sasha's money. Because definitely guardianship does not mean that's your money to spend on yourself. Or oh, you can say no to a deal for deception, but you're going to take Sasha's money and gamble with it and she's going to lose it. Actually, what Miss Wu is going to tell Cody to do, make her win most of the night. She may even tell her, let her win tonight. Because when she comes back, that's when we're going to get her. We're going to have her feeling. All that Miss Wu is ready to just run circles around Gladys. And so Sonny and Sasha are coming back into the dining room. And Miss Wu says, oh, you know what? Keep that card a secret because this is a private, private uh, game. So she goes, oh, okay. And Sonny comes over and he sees Gladys. Selena. And she's thinking, what's going on? He goes, you two ladies know each other. And she goes, we're fellow investors. Or Selena goes, we both, not, not personal, but we both are investors in deception. So Sonny goes, mm, okay. So Gladys, I mean, Selena ends up getting up and, and leaving. And Sonny is looking at Gladys like, what are you up to, Gladys? Because he was telling Sasha, I know it's difficult with Gladys. And, and almost pretty much, we've got to still watch her. And Sonny's like, looking at her like, what are you up to, Gladys? And Gladys is standing up as well uh, with Sasha and Sonny. And Sasha reaches over and she really hugs Gladys. And she goes, thank you so much for looking after me and having my back, right? Now, Gladys has the card hidden all behind her, like, you're welcome. I'm getting ready to lose all your money, but you're welcome. Because I never had this much money to play with. you welcome. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be such a disaster. And I'm going to feel so bad for Sasha. It's like if it's not one thing, it's another. And Gladys was just absolutely, positively the wrong person for that, right? So now we have, oh, this is this is where Selena is leaning back, just really hooking in Gladys. Oh, she's cast that net and she's pulling her in, right? And Gladys is all, you know, Gladys always makes herself be more important than she really is. And uh, I see what's coming a mile away, everybody, right? So they did have a cute scene between Dante and Sam. You know, she bought him a, a, a sub sandwich from the favorite Italian place. And, oh, he chowed down on that. And they just talked a bit about Anna because he's saying, yeah, he's got a, they have him on the case searching for Anna versus looking for Lucy. He'd rather be looking for Lucy because, you know, he goes, look, the feds took, no, they don't. The feds took the case away from the PCPD looking for Anna. He's on the Lucy case. And he says, because the feds already know half the police officers at the PCPD, if they see Anna, they're going to look the other way. And the other half is going to try to drive her across the border. Because <laughs> they love Anna, right? They love them some Anna. But him and it, actually, I'm starting to like him and Sam as a couple. They're really growing on me. They were real cute and affectionate together. And I'm liking the chemistry that Kelly Monaco and, 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 well, that's her name, but I don't know what his true name is, but Sam and Dante uh, are putting on together. 
And then we had Laura. She came and joined Robert and Holly. And Robert is just talking about he's so upset, you know, about being shut out by a woman. And, and Holly's starting to think, oh, he's talking about me. But he was talking about Anna. He, he said, because I just knew Anna would have got in touch with me, you know, after she escaped. And Holly's like, she's probably laying low and doesn't want to involve you. Why would Anna contact Robert right now when she she has no real use for him right now? Remember, the assist, the deputy uh, mayor already was telling him, uh, yeah, you're calling in your contacts and favors. So for sure, well, Laura's back, so squat, except for no, the deputy mayor is the one that got the feds to take the case versus keeping it at the PCPD, which I'm surprised Laura let that slide. But anyway, they're talking and all of a sudden, Holly started just kind of talking off kilter with what she's saying. And Laura is looking at Holly and Laura is looking at Robert. Robert kind of looked at Laura and they looked at Holly like, uh, Holly? And she goes, no, it just so it upsets me that people could think Anna did it. And, you know, and that no, you know, that Anna would never shoot Lucy. And I'm like, oh my God, shut up, chick. You know, so then, but still, my allergies are acting up today, guys. Um, Laura is, is knowing something is not right with Holly. And actually, believe it or not, Robert is starting to sense it as well. He really, really is. So later on, um, Holly is, I don't know where Holly's at. She's somewhere in some alley, probably waiting to meet Victor. And she has a flashback. And the flashback is Lucy getting shot twice. But the funny thing is, they either shot Lucy with rubber bullets because Lucy's like, oh, she feels both shots. But you don't see any blood. There was no blood, not a drop of blood on that pier. I think they were rubber bullets, right? So then it shows a woman in an alleyway putting the gun down and taking off the fake face and wig. And guess who it is? Holly is the one because she's wearing Anna's jacket. But see, here's the thing, everybody. This is this is what where everything is wrong. Look at what's all over that jacket in the front, the side, and the back. We just got a lolly, a lot of Holly Sutton's DNA on that jacket, don't we? All that hair, all over the place. You know, all of that's Holly. So she is the one who was wearing a fake Anna face. So no, they didn't, they're not bringing Alex back, you know, and she's been in on it from the very beginning, framing one of her closest friends. And she probably, once she ditched the suit for now, Victor and his cronies to come pick it up because they put it in Anna's car. She dives into the water close to the quarter main estate and we all know the rest is history so we now know holly is the one who shot anna i mean holly's the one who framed anna holly, uh she shot lucy with whatever she shot i, I think they were blank uh, not blanks i think they were rubber bullets Lucy's not dead. I honestly, truly do not believe they've killed. Lucy is being held somewhere. Victor's having her held. Um, so anyway, that was the revelation. Hopefully this means that we're starting to come to the end of this. You know, it's making me wonder, is Holly Sutton going to be the hook killer? I can remember somebody on Comment Corner was saying, it's, you know, Holly's the hook. I'm like, it's not going to be Holly. Well, guess what? With how stupid they're at this, this version of Holly is a version none of us has ever seen before. So this version of Holly could be the hook killer. I don't know. Goodness gracious. No, I don't know. I don't know if, if, if because 
Victor wanted Lucy out the way because Lucy found out the deputy mayor was working for her and that she was working for Anna because of the bug. I really think the hook killings are unrelated to this. But anyway, let's go to comment corner, comment corner. We got quite a few comments. I'm going to skim right through them. Steve says, I think Holly was behind the attack, behind, was behind the attack on Nicholas at Windermere. She was either sent by Victor to kill Nicholas or she went there to kill Victor and attacked Nicholas. You know what? I would not have put Victor past sending Holly to Windermere and using that Windermere hook to try to get uh, Nicholas. Could be. Steve said, who is Curtis's father then? I know Curtis and Trina are long lost family members of the Ward family. I know this, this whole DNA thing, eh, but we'll find out. Kiki says, great recap. Nina and Carly are two peas in a pod. All the way sticking their noses where it don't belong. Carly is famous for that. But see, Sonny used to always be on her. But not on Nina like he's on was on Carly. Most of the time, it bites them in the behind. Yes, it does. I'm glad Nina told Sonny about what she saw. Nina's insecure about Sonny's relationship with Carly. She's going to be... Uh, she's going to be for a long time to come and any time the insecurities come up she needs to talk to tony to to sunny however she should go talk to a therapist most women are not secure in their relationships with sunny yeah carly was pretty secure yeah carly was um i was not okay with how Nicholas was talking to Esme. I hope everything's okay with the baby. Well, we found out she was faking it. Cindy says, I had initially thought that Brick knew Dex was with Carly and Josh, but didn't tell Sonny. But later I realized Brick may not have known. Now, Sonny didn't tell him what she needed. I mean, Carly didn't tell him what she needed it for. Carly may have only told Brick that she needed the antibiotics. And so he got them for her without knowing any details. He said, no questions asked. He helps Carly, no questions asked. Medora says, is Nina a teenager fishing for Sonny to keep affirming his love for her? You know, he loves and cares for her and nothing for Carly. Uh, Deborah says, Nicholas just needs to let Esme go. Um, they're going to find out she's pregnant as soon as they see her. Anybody's going to find out that she's pregnant. Nic Nicholas needs to confide in Ava. He sure should, he sure should tell her. Esme will um, break up Nicholas and Ava, but don't like, wait, but don't like them together anyway, Nicholas and Ava. I kind of like them together. Um, Ava is too cunning. She really is too cunning. She'd be better with Victor. She really would. Uh, too cunning of a woman for Nicholas, maybe in the past, but the writers are making um, Nicholas too weak. Um, instead of someone um, to think twice before you start. Uh, if it would, <clears throat> if that would happen and they would see the power, uh, he would see, he has power. Victor might go back to where he came from. Nah, Victor has this world destruction or domination plan. After all, Nicholas was going, was given the money and the power and Elena was no fool. Yeah, there's a reason. Although, look, the power and the inheritance went down through Nikos Cassadine's line, uh, not Victor's. Uh, Ron says the hook killers on vacation um, all these holidays um, and so much work is left to be done and Sonny needs to show Nina that this is no game and to quit or I'm out telling her meddling and stuff I know Anna Rihanna says Sonny is so jealous I don't care if he works for Sonny it's not really for Sonny to say I think the cracks are showing <clears throat> with Nina and Brick has her number. He probably does. He's just making nice because she's with Sonny right now. Nina is so insecure and says says some and says something to Carly. The smackdown will be on. Carly knows 
um, she can feel and see history repeating herself with Joss and Dexy, I know. Esme es escaped again. Nope, she was there just uh, faking it. Go, girlfriend. Nicholas is such a fool. Um, you have some good material to work with today as long as Nina is there and Esme is escaping. Well, Esme is still there. Um, I had a wonderful, I have to wonder about the hook hook it killer as well. I hope the writers don't drop the ball. Well, they're really kind of slowing it up. Um, thank you, Daily Recap Lady. Treasure Islands is uh, says, uh, is answering Anna Rihanna. Um, it's not about jealousy. Brick is, Brick not only works for Sonny, but he's an old, he's a trusted friend, a confident, confidant of Sonny. He, um, Sonny can't tell them what to do, but he needs to know. Yeah. Um, Anna Rihanna, Sonny needs to wake up to the disaster that's right in front of him. This is the second time Nina has stirred the pot and two times Sonny has told, has uh, let it go. Although I appreciate the interactions and comments, uh, my heart will always see Sonny needing to control Carly's life. Um, even after the divorce, as a bit of jealousy. Well, they've been divorced how many times? And yes, Sonny has always been in having a voice on what Carly does, even through divorce. He was always a thorn in her side when she was married to Jax too. A thorn in Jax's side. Um, a bit of sadness knowing someone else um, is enjoying her love. Yeah, he, he definitely will have a fit about Drew. Uh, thank you again for your commitment. Woo, trust me, and it's been real busy for me, y'all. Man, trying to get these videos done right now. I've got a lot going on. Um, Treasure Island is uh, tagging or commenting to Anna Rihanna. It's not about jealousy or control. In my opinion, friends, exes are off limits if one values the friendship point. Well, Sonny needs to know who you, who, Britt would never tell anybody a confidence and Sonny knows that. That's why ultimately he trusts him when he said, there's nothing going on between me and Carly. Okay, but now if Sonny saw, if Britt decided, hey man, she's your ex again, I'm ready to wife her, Sonny would have a problem with that because now that she's your wife, that changes the dynamics of what you may or may not tell her that's going on in my business. So it, it for one, Carly would never do that. Jason is the only one other than uh, Sonny. Sonny would have a problem if Jason came back and Carly got with Jason. But that would just, Nina couldn't handle it because Sonny would be so jealous of that. So jealous if Jason came back and Carly got with Jason. Uh, Michael says the writers need to stop being lazy. All the secrecy is getting old. Joss and Carly should have told Sonny about Dex. I agree with you, Michael. There is no reason Sonny hasn't been told and extracted Dex. No reason whatsoever. Rick should not have let Carly swear him to secrecy about the antibiotics. He is on Sonny's payroll. Yeah, but Rick has helped Carly out of quite a few things in the past as well. Uh, these storylines are dragging on too long. Great recap. I know they're not resolving. We got so much unresolved. It's exhausting. Victor's thing, I'm so over his planning because come on, Victor, it hasn't even happened. We've got Elizabeth's thing. We've got Trace not, Chase not back on the PCP. There's just too much mess, too much mess. Lashanta says, Nina is beyond messy. I hope Sonny doesn't fall out with Brick like he did with Jason. Um, why was Sonny telling Nina everything? He sure is telling her a lot. He told her Drew was at Carly's house uh, when he took Joss home. Now he told her that Brick... Brick used to flirt with Carly. Well, Brick flirts with everybody. Brick flirts with every woman. It's not her business. He doesn't want wanna, let's see, he doesn't wanna discuss his business, but he could have a lot of pillow talk with needy Nina. 
Yeah, but about uh, stuff that not is not his business. He'll talk about everybody else. Um, let's see. He's got a jealous nature. I heard him tell her that him and Carly um, have Donna in common. If that's true, why did he go uh, up to Brick like that? He trusts Bl Brick like he did just uh, Jason. Yes, he did. Um, he needed to think about the conversation TJ had about Nina to him. That is definitely, definitely true. Uh, let's see. Let's see. He used to be so cold to Carly, but he's just eaten up all Nina's trash because she's a bed warmer. Yeah, I think him and Nina, We I'd give him a few more months. Uh, Sandy says, uh, nosy, no nothing Nina's assuming something about Carly again, and she's running straight to Sonny to tell him the lie. Silly Sonny um, has the nerves to question Brick. Um, whatever Carly does is none of his business and he needs to tell Needy Nina tonight to mind her own business, which he has told her how many times and it just doesn't happen. Uh, Drew and Weepy Willow are too boring. Yes, they are. Um, holding a scene is, I know I fast forwarded Drew, the whole, that whole conversation. Treasure Island says, I completely agree, Sonny, um, with Sonny to go straight forward yeah, and ask Brick because you don't want Sonny thinking something that ain't true. He just he he handled it like a man. What's happening? He had my ex wife up in your room. Um, what that's what a real friend would do. Um, nobody would feel comfortable if with your best friend knocking down the door. Of your ex. Um, it's not about jealousy. It's um, different with someone else. Yeah, it's true. And then uh, Ruth says, um, Nina's always stirring the pot. Yes, she is. She's creating, creating chaos. Um, and why can't uh, Luth, is it Willow's mom, be Harmony? Well, you know, because Harmony wasn't her mom. And, you know, no, Harmony wasn't her mom. So now it's just going to be a whole thing and finding out who her mother is. And M, said, M. Sim says, Carly will chew Nina up and spit her out. Can't wait. Well, that's the end of Comic Corner. That's all the Comic Corner, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with Cliffhanger Friday's daily episode of General Hospital.